So um, like they mentioned, my name is Jessica. I'm one of the counselors at El Camino College and you can uh, think of me as the, your contact person for anything related to El Camino College. So today I'm really excited to be sharing some information uh, about El Camino, maybe some of the goals that you can attain at El Camino. Um, and just think of this as a breakdown about anything related to El Camino and the goals that you could potentially attain there. So some of the benefits for enrolling at El Camino College, obviously, you know, one of the things that you do hear about um, the community college system, um, it's the money, right? So we do, uh, for our courses, they're $46 per unit. So what that means for like a full-time student, which uh, it's about 12 units per semester, if you're full-time, that's about uh, $600 per semester, which makes a huge difference, right? Whether um, when you compare it to the UCs, the CSUs, or even the private institutions. So um, if you look at the numbers right below, uh, uh, academic year at, um, for El Camino College would be about a little bit over $1,000. Uh, when you look at the CSU, so the C the California State University system, like Cal State Long Beach, uh, Cal State LA, um, that's uh, a little bit over $7,000 for the academic year. The UC, so like UCLA or um, UC Santa Barbara, UC Irvine, to name a few local ones, um, that's about um, they're almost 14 grand for the academic year. And then private institutions, those are a little bit different depending on the private institution. So um, uh, some of the ones that you might uh, be familiar with are like USC or LMU, those are private institutions and they all have their different tuition, but the average cost of uh, per academic year is about $32,000, a little bit over that. So uh, one of the biggest benefits of attending El Camino College is that you get to save a lot of money for, um, um, you know, working towards whether it's your associate degree or if you're interested in the transfer route, that's definitely something that you could also work towards at El Camino. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. You also do benefit from small uh, class sizes. So usually uh, when you're enrolling, say, for example, in an English one in class, which is uh, pretty much the class that all of our um, incoming first semester students are taking, um, you, it's about 35 uh, to 40 students, I would say maybe 35 um, students. So that's a lot smaller. Um, I remember you know, and just to give you some background information about myself, I right after high school, I did attend El Camino College, um, where then I worked uh, towards my transfer requirements and transferred to UC Santa Cruz. So that uh, once I transferred going to UC Santa Cruz, it was kind of like a, a shock for me, not only because I went from going from the semester system, which is um, 16 weeks, right? So about four, um, four months to the quarter system, which is a lot faster. But then the class sizes, I had to take a couple of what are called like um, lecture classes where there was like over easily over 200 students per um, class. So that was a bit overwhelming to kind of get thrown into right after I transferred. Um, so I think that's why I enjoyed my stay at El Camino because all the like for the most part, the most students that I had in one class, it was about 40 um, students per um, class. And that allowed me to, you know, um, have direct access to my instructor a lot of the times. We also do at El Camino College offer transfer agreements, which if you satisfy, you know, the GPA requirements and whatever classes that you um, are being requested to finish at El Camino, once you uh, finish those, then you're guaranteed admissions into that particular university. Um, we offer academic flexibility, which means that I know often we talk about, when we talk about El Camino or any community college, we talk about the transfer process, but that's not the only option that's available at a community college, especially not at El Camino. And I'll talk to you about the, the different options. So we have associate degree programs where you can get um, hence on uh, training to programs like welding or cosmetology. So those are definitely an option because not only about the transfer route, and we also do offer support services and programs. One of the biggest things that helped me at El Camino College when I was a student was that I joined several support programs. Like I was a part of EOPS and Puente, which uh, really helped me um, navigate the higher education system. I was a first generation college student, which means that my parents didn't attend college. Um, so other than my mom driving me to college and kind of helping me 
um, pushing me toward, kind of shoving me, I would say, right? Um, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, when I finished high school, it's not like if I had a plan, I didn't say, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to El Camino and I'm going to transfer. That, that was definitely not my case. I um, had trouble in high school. I did manage to uh, graduate. And then my mom was like, well, you know, you're either going to work and that's not what I want for you at this moment and or you're going to go to college. So then she kind of dragged me to El Camino and forced me. She's like, I don't know how to do things here, but we're going to kind of learn together. So I'm glad I had her to push me. But it was because of the support services and programs like um, EOPS. And I'll go into a little bit more detail um, with each program is that they helped me navigate things that maybe my parents weren't able to help me, like the financial aid process and, you know, how to register for classes or, you know, uh, because that's all kind of stuff that you're expected to know, but not every student has those tools. I know I didn't. So joining a support uh, program is always very helpful. Alrighty. So some of, um, and, you know, I mentioned the flexibility that comes with attending El Camino College. So um, that flexibility is in within the educational goals, right? So you don't necessarily have to, um, if you go to El Camino, you don't have to transfer to a university. You could, um, a lot of our students come to get certificates, which um, they're short-term degrees that only require specific classes. So we have certificates and programs like welding, cosmetology, um, we have certificates in um, automotive technology. So we have all those different programs and uh, a lot of the times the certificates can be completed in like um, maybe three, four semesters or sometimes even less if you stack up the classes. Um, the idea behind the certificates, a lot of our students that maybe have some kind of foundation in that area, like if you've been working, um, you know, maybe with your, your a family member in a, um, in, a, in the automotive technology area, and you just kind of want to say, okay, I took a class and learned some of the basics, and you can file for a certificate, and you put it on your resume showing your employer, look, I took this class, and I have the foundation for it. We also do offer associate's degrees of either arts or science, so depending on the major, um, it would fall under an AA or an AS. It's um, often called a two-year degree, um, so, you do mention two years, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're expected to finish in two years, but it's possible to do it with it. So like I said, uh, the Associates of Arts degree, um, the Associates degree require that um, you complete general education courses and the specific major courses, um, just to kind of give you a brief break, breakdown of what exactly that means. Um, anytime you're going to file for a degree, like whether that's your Associates degree or your Bachelor's degree, you are expected to um, complete general education courses, which is a combination of like your English, your math, your um, sciences, arts, humanities. So for the degree, you need 60 degree applicable units. Half of that comes from those GE courses. The other half comes from whatever your major is gonna be. So if your major is gonna be in welding, right? Um, you do 60 units, half GE and um, half welding courses. That's the breakdown of that. We also do offer associate's degree for of transfer. So these particular degrees, not all of our majors have um, that degree. Um, they're there for students that are interested in maybe transferring uh, to a university at the completion of it. You still need um, 60 units but these are gonna be 60 transferable units. So it takes about two years or so if you're attending full-time, um, you have to complete um, half of, from those 60 units will be GEs, and the other half will be from your major requirements. So very similar to the regular associate's degree, but this degree, like I mentioned, has to be 60 um, transferable units to making sure that they're transferable to the universities. And at the completion of the associate's degree of transfer, you get a bump in your GPA for the CSU. So schools like um, Cal State Long Beach, Cal State Dominguez Hills, any of the CSUs. And you're also guaranteed or like you're given priority admission. So you're almost guaranteed admissions into a CSU. It might not be the CSU of your choice, right? Like schools like Long Beach, they're usually impacted. Like, um, but you're guaranteed that you're getting admitted into a CSU and you're starting at the junior level status. So I think a lot of the times what I hear students get confused. It's like, oh, you know, um, a community college like El Camino, it's, um, it's, 
kind of like high school part two. And that's definitely not the case. That's one of the things that I usually like to bring up because it's not the case. Um, when you're wanting to tr do the transfer and, um, and get your bachelor's degree, right? And you come to El Camino, you're spending two years, that's the goal, right? At El Camino. Um, and you're working towards half of your bachelor's degree. Um, so, and then once you transfer, you're, um, you're transferring as a junior and you're there as a, with junior standing, right? To complete the other two years. So it's not like if you're gonna start all over again, um, you're doing half at ECC and then half at the, at the four-year institution. So I did um, go ahead and I went, sk kind of skipped ahead and I mentioned the transfer process. Um, you have to complete the GEs and ma major preparation. Um, let me see. So this is the way that it works um, where I did mention that you have to take your major specific classes. So say for instance, um, my major was sociology and my major was actually sociology, right? So I did um, about 30 units worth of sociology related classes. Then I did uh, what are called general education courses, which was that English, that communications, the math. Um, and then if that didn't add up to the 60 to 70 transferable units, so the goal is 60 units, um, then you could take what are called electives. But um, as long as you have 60 transferable units and are satisfying the minimum requirements, then you can apply to transfer to a university. And then we have the transfer admissions guarantee programs, which again, um, they set specific GPA requirements that you have to uh, meet a specific classes. And if you've completed those classes in that GPA requirement, then you're guaranteed admissions into whatever um, institution that you've filled out the TAG agreement with. Uh, for the UCs, we have UC Davis, Irvine Merced, and Santa Cruz to name a few. We also have um, transfer admission guarantee programs with private institutions or out of state like LMU and Arizona State University. And we even have tag agreements with um, HBCUs. If you guys are not familiar with those, those are historically black colleges and universities. Um, so we have uh, agreements with like Morehouse College, Clark Art Atlanta, um, so to name a few. And that's not even the, con the complete list um, of those. So some of the top transfer destinations um, in California for students um, from the CSUs are like Dominguez Hills, Cal State Long Beach, from the, the UCs, um, UCLA is like one of those top schools that our students are going to, uh, but also UC Irvine, Santa Barbara, San Diego and Berkeley. And then from the private, um, USC is the, one of those big um, institutions that our students are wanting to transfer to, LMU, Biola Chapman and the University of Phoenix. Alrighty. So um, do you want to spend some time on the career education program? Because I did, um, I know that I mentioned that, you know, transferring is not legal. You can obtain at El Camino. We do have awesome career education programs altogether. Um, we have uh, 35 career programs. Um, some of the more um, popular ones, and just to kind of give you um, uh, background on what these programs are. They're really uh, technical and training. They're, they will give you hands on learning about the particular major. So it's not like if, you know, you're jumping into, for instance, the, um, the respiratory care or the welding program. It's not like if you're only going to be learning the theory about it or learning from books. Uh, we actually have instructors that are in the field, so that are welders or that work in the respiratory care that are teaching you um, how the not only the book learning that you need, right, from this, but also hands-on um, learning that you need to practice to be able to go into these fields after you obtain your degree. Uh, so here you'll see that some of the popular ones are like administration of justice and that's usually for students that are wanting to go anything in like, uh, um, you'll often hear it as the criminal justice field, like anything with law enforcement or anything of that nature. Um, automotive technology, we actually have two different ones. We have like the the body repair and painting for the outside of the, the car, right? Like if your car gets into a collision um, to learn how to fix that. And like I said, it's not like if you're only learning uh, from the books about this, we actually have a body shop where students get to uh, put into practice what they've learned from the books. Um, 
we have business management, cosmetology, um, electronic and computer hardware. One of the more popular ones that's not listed here, um, it's our nursing program, right? That's, that's uh, often a very, very popular one um, that we offer at El Camino College. And that obviously not all 35 programs are listed here. Um, let's see. One of the things that I did want to mention before I forget, um, Another opportunity that we do offer at El Camino College is called the Aerospace Apprenticeship Program. And these are for students that are interested um, to, or would like to learn um, more about the machine tool technology field or electronics and computer hardware or engineering technology while working in the aerospace industry as an apprentice. So it's kind of an opportunity for you to get that, again, that hands-on experience, but working at the same time, right, um, in, in learning, so working and learning. So um, the aerospace apprenticeship specifically for those fields, and um, here's some very basic information about that. I'm hoping to, um, at some point, um, bring in the counselor assigned to this so that they can give you a little bit more details about this, uh, but the person that's um, in charge of this, his name is Sergio Pineda, he's one of my colleagues, another counselor for El Camino College, um, and there's actually an interest form, so if you want to, like, read about it, and this is obviously after, you know, you're, once you're 18, you have to be 18 in order to be part of this program, um, but you also have to be taking specific classes uh, so that you can um, be uh, an apprentice for those um, for this program. So are very lucrative, meaning that you can make a lot of money just from earning the two year degree, right? And keep in mind that those two years that we mentioned, it's like if you're doing full time, right? So if you're t doing part time, it might take you a little bit longer. We don't necessarily put a, a timeline on how or when you need to finish it. Uh, but those two years are if you're doing full time. So programs like um, like respiratory care, which is in the medical field, um, they make very good money. As the other one that you might um, be already aware of, the nursing program, right? Uh, nurses. Um, so the way that our program works is that you have to sit, like meet specific classes before you can apply into the nursing program. The nursing program is a highly competitive program, um, but just the same way, once you're done with it, you apply to become an RN, and RNs, they make pretty good money. So those are some of the, and I don't have the specific numbers for you at this time, but those are some of the programs like respiratory care, um, the other one is uh, radiologic technology, which are the x-ray technicians, right? They're all like um, technical training, um, hands-on and um, learning programs that you can finish at El Camino College, but they do lead to very uh, lucrative careers. And one of the things that I do now that, um, you know, we're talking about those programs, one of the the resources that I, I've put together for you guys to make it a little bit easier. And I want to share with you guys now that I have your attention is that I went ahead and um, created this site for you guys um, where you guys can access it directly because I know sometimes going it directly into the El Camino website, it might be a little bit, um, you know, confusing where to get what. So here I put, um, you know, specifically for you guys, you guys can click on where it says contact um, counselor and it'll lead you directly to my contact information with my email and then my Google text and voice number. Um, if you guys don't feel like reaching out to me directly, you could also fill out this form and I'll reach out to you, uh, whatever works for you guys. Uh, but here under career education, I've actually put um, up some of the, um, the more popular uh, programs that we offer. So see right here, it's like nursing, uh, photography, radiologic technology, but actually at the bottom, um, if you click on that, it takes you directly to um, the, the, re the entire list of those programs. If you're interested in, for example, let's go with nursing, right? Um, if you click on that, it'll take you directly to the um, the degree requirements and what the program's about. A lot of the times with programs like that, um, they, the students do ask, oh, is it accredited? Um, and it gives you all that information there. And it, it is accredited, right? Uh, because at the end of it, you are able to take that RN examination, which is the NCLEX. Um, so I do want you guys to take advantage of the, of the um, 
the different links here because it gives you a little bit more information about what's required for the degree. Uh, and this is just so that you guys can see it. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm your contact person for anything related to El Camino College. Um, if you have further questions or want to start thinking about the classes that you need to take, we can talk about that as well. Um, but um, here's the list 